Good morning. My name is Eli Fagerstrom. Uh, one of my passions is cycling. I love riding bikes. Um, but also something that I hold dear to my heart is everyone having transfer transportation. Uh, everyone needs to get around, get around town. Uh, and so what I like to volunteer at is a place called Yellow Bike Project. Uh, this place is located in North Austin. Uh, and it combines transportation and my passion cycling. Um, what Yellow Bike does, uh, just pass these flyers around. Um, Yellow Bike gives uh, bicycles to, to the youth and the poor in Austin. Um, you can see what is Yellow Bike, the, uh, the first thing on the sheet. Uh, it's an educational facility, a community bike shop, and a 501c nonprofit. Yellow Bike, as you can see, is a place where anyone with any level of experience uh, can use tools and fix up their bikes for free. Um, or you can volunteer and fix up one of the shop bikes, which is what I was doing. Um, so I have three points that I want to cover today. Um, first, I want to cover transportation. People still need to get around. Uh, secondly, uh, how you can help uh, donation-wise. And third, how you can help volunteer-wise. So firstly, people need to uh, have bicycles so they can get around town. It's a very cheap way of transportation. Uh, instead of uh, taking the bus or buying or leasing a car, it's much less expensive and you get exercise. Uh, also, uh, you're saving a bunch of uh, a bunch of time trying to fill up your car with gas or waiting on, on the bus to get there. You just hop on your bike and be at whatever destination, as long as there's not a bunch of traffic. Uh, so my second point, uh, how you can help um, with donations. You can see on the paper it says donation. You can help. Uh, by donating entire bicycles. If you have bicycle parts like wheels, tires, seats, handlebars, front forks, any, any part of a bicycle, you can donate that. Um, and you can also donate tools if you have tools. Uh, there's pretty much 90, more than 90% of what Yellow Bike has in their shop is all donated. It's pretty impressive. Um, and so my third point, uh, how you can help volunteering. As I said, no one needs uh, any experience to, to volunteer at Yellow Bike. Uh, you just go in the shop at one of their volunteer hours, which you can see the hours also on the sheet. Uh, and you're given a bike and it has a sticker that says, fix this and this and this. And they give you the tools. And if you can't get it after 30 minutes, then you say, hey, I need some help. Uh, and one of the one of the guys that's in there will help you and and so you learn how to fix the bike so you get personal experience if you're ever on the road and trying to fix up your bike and it's messing up now you know uh, so finally to conclude uh, yellow bike project was started about 15 years ago and they finally have a, a large facility with 15 uh, stations you, you could uh, use. <coughs> Excuse me, pardon me. Um, and my goal for, for Yellow Bike is to have all 15 stations filled um, for all four hours that you can donate your time volunteering with them. Have you donated a bike? I didn't donate a bike, but I, I worked on one of the shop bikes. Uh, yeah, I was fixing the the steering with the bearings, and yeah, I had no idea what I was doing, but uh, they helped me, so it was cool. Um, yeah, so as I said, my my vision for the future uh, is to have all 15 stations filled uh, for all four hours, because when I was volunteering, there was about half the stations were full for the first two hours, and then some more people showed up and were volunteering their time. Uh, so that wraps up uh, 
this. If you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to ask.